Okay, the next one I want to show you is this stamp which is Come Softly by Sweet Pea. It's got a very, very pretty butterfly on it, which is versatile for any project. I like butterflies and I never find very nice ones, but this one's very pretty. So again, you just ink it up. I've inked, inked all of this stamp up so that you can actually see it, but you only really need to ink the, the butterfly bit up. Okay, I'm using the Dandelion uh, Fantasy Film again because it shows up better for the camera. And um, place your film across like so. And again, with a greaseproof paper, and then just simply iron over it. Who'd have thought ironing could be so much fun, eh? And again, your image will start to show through. So it's about 20 seconds. So, so bear with me. There's part one of your butterfly. I'm just putting that to the one side for a second while I do the second one because I'm doing a two tone butterfly on this. So just ink up your butterfly again, and this one is Mother of Pearl Fantasy Film. Just to give a different visual effect. So just place it on. I mean, I've been very, very generous with this fancy film. You only need to cut out as much as, as you use. Don't worry about your iron on, on red rubber stamps. I've not actually tried it on um, clear as of yet. Um, but red, red rubber is absolutely fine. So I should go for this one again. Okay, and the image is showing through there, so that one's done as well. I just put my stamp to one side for a second. I'll take this off. Okay, now this butterfly is really, really pretty. As I say, it can be used in any project that you want. So I just simply cut round it. And then we have the first one, which is in the dandelion. It's a nice, pretty colour. And the second one's in a mother of pearl, which is like a oh, silvery, white, bluey, pinky. You know what mother of pearl is. It's just a very, very nice colour. So I've done the second one, like so. And the second one, I'm leaving the bottom two pieces out, bottom two wings out. And just cutting out the top wings and the body for this one. Now the glue dots are absolutely fine, they don't show through that much at all. So what I want to do with this now is to bend the wings up at the body, as you can see. And then finding my lost glue dots again, oh here they are. Because the body's so tiny, I've cut a small glue dot down in half. Because you only need a tiny, tiny dot. And then just put the glue dot on the body bit. And then just place this over like that. And then these wings can flap up like so, and you can see it. Let's just stick this one up a little bit more. And, uh, and it's a nice 3D effect as well, and it's a very, very pretty butterfly. Now, if you wanted the body a different colour, you can use all kinds on this. I'm just using some uh, stickles just to fill the body bit in, just to, to make it a different colour so you can see it. And there you go. You got a nice pretty 3D, pretty pretty butterfly.